What is up YouTube, it's Ryan, Maniac V2, and I've got another video for you guys. This is going to be um, part of a series. Um, I'm not sure how many parts they're going to be, but uh, look in the description or in the title. Um, I'm not sure as of recording this right now, but this is going to be a, a how to make an intro in Cinema 4D. Um, this will be part one. And uh, yeah, so anyways, we're going to be the... Uh, working on something like this. Um, this is a basic intro, and it it's not too much. And um, yeah, it gets the job done, and um, it's just not something that people would complain about. But it's not like too flashy, and uh, it's not too hard to do either. So, anyways, let's get right into it. Um, it's very simple actually. But uh, anyways, what you're gonna do is open up Cinema 4D, R12, R11, R13 doesn't matter. Anyways, you want to set up your scene. I'm going to have my output to 1280 by 720. Uh, sorry. 1280 by 720. And we're going to be working with keyframes today. So make sure your frame step is 1. And uh, we're going to go ahead and turn this up to about 200 frames. Um, and yeah. So go ahead and center your viewpoint here and um, yeah so what we're gonna do actually first is I'm gonna use a studio you can get your own lighting system set up whatever you want to call it but I'm gonna use a studio right now so I'm gonna use this rainbow studio from grayscale gorilla and um, delete this camera actually no I don't want to do that keep this camera here and uh, so what we're gonna do now I'm gonna delete these um, actually, I'm going to keep this as a reference point, but anyways, grab your uh, text. The first thing you want to do is, uh, the font I'm going to be choosing is Bebus, okay? And the uh, first thing you want to do is, you want to get your main text, call it, uh, say, your username. So my username is uh, Maniac, so I'm going to type Maniac, okay? I'm going to do all lowercase. It doesn't matter because the font is all the same. So then what we're going to do with Maniac is we're going to uh, go ahead and make it center. Okay. And we're going to go also. And we're going to make it smaller. Okay. Just like that. And we're going to go ahead and make the depth to about 120. Nah. Just, uh, how about 80? 80, 80 looks fine, and get some fillet caps, and fillet caps, and that's, uh, that's fine. And, uh, what I'm gonna use now is my own material, just gonna make it no specular, and reflections gonna be down to about here with some Fresnel, okay color is going to be dark gray okay there's my material and now we're going to bring out the main logo you can use a logo for this or you can use just a simple letter okay uh, the first letter of my username is M so we're gonna go ahead into uh, no text and grab another one and go to object and I'm gonna type M all right now the font, I want to use the same font, so Beebus. Alright. Now this one's gonna be a bit thicker, a hundred probably. And uh I'm just gonna move it. You wanna align it center, so align middle, and then drag it up. Okay. Now also we can check from above and it doesn't look that thick, so we're gonna make it 120. Okay. So let's go and check that. Then that looks good. Um, you can also make it bigger. All right. So now I've got this here, and um, my camera angle looks a bit off. So I'm going to center my camera angle. So you guys can do it however you like it. I think this is good for now. All right. Yeah, it looks pretty centered. It's not perfect, but whatever. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have Motext 1. First of all, get some fillet caps on that. 
and uh, let's just turn the radius let's turn the uh, steps up and then we're going I'm going to use the same material on my other one and then for this motex right here it's a bit inside the floor so I'm just going to have it like that and then I'm just going to test the render right here and see how this looks uh, depending on your lighting system, this will take longer or shorter than mine. But let's just, you always want to check how it looks just in case, you know, you want to go back and do something before you animate. Because changing stuff when you have keyframes is really, really hard. So I think mine, it looks fine. So yeah, that looks fine for now. And um, let's just see something here how this looks rotated okay so that looks fine so what we're gonna do now is we're going to make our um, first keyframe so what we're gonna do now is take our motex one and uh, we're going to take this thing down here called automatic keyframe actually we don't even need automatic keyframe so what we're gonna do actually is take make sure you have your rotate tool selected and at frame zero you're going to um, make a keyframe or no drag your jag from frame zero and drag up to about frame I don't know 10 and make a keyframe now go to frame zero and make a keyframe like this okay so now what we have is this keyframe and we have that okay we can go ahead and add more spin to this so we have this I actually don't want that much spin so I'm gonna go ahead and do this like that you can just play around with it until you like it I think I like it like that so now we have this rotation right here okay and I want the last few seconds of it to be slow so right about I'm gonna extend this keyframe out to about 20 and we can see how it looks and I want from here to the end to be slow so I'm gonna keyframe here and I'm gonna drag this one all the way out to about 60 I'm going to drag this one to about 20, and we get that right there. Now if I move this to 15, I can get an even more dramatic effect. Okay, I think I'm going to drag it down to 10 even, and see what we get. So we get that nice effect right there, even more maybe. So we get that really, really nice effect. I'm actually going to drag this all the way out to 90, okay? So we get that right there. And I'm going to drag this even more. And you guys can do this however you want, but just make it the same as mine pretty much. So now that we have that keyframe, we're going to have a camera zoom keyframe. So we're going to go to cameras. You're going to make it. First of all, you got to have a camera right here like this, okay? Camera. I already have mine set up, so... I'm going to have camera and make sure camera scene cameras and camera is checked. Okay? So what we, once we do that, we're going to click on the camera. We're going to go to frame uh, 10 and make a keyframe. Okay? On the camera. Then go to frame 0. And we're going to zoom in. Alright? We're going to zoom in a lot just past the M okay so now if we make a keyframe that's very important to make a keyframe okay if you don't make a keyframe nothing will happen so then we have this okay now that's kind of a rough rough rough, rough animation so so 
Sorry, guys. What you want to do is drag this blue keyframe out to 20. And then we're going to um, see how this goes. So there we go, guys. We have that animation. And um, we, we want to smooth this out. Now, now that we have this animation, we want to smooth it out. So I'm going to go to frame. I want from here. I want about from here to the end to be smoothed out. So 15. So yeah, I'm going to have this smoothed out. Now, you might you might not like how zoomed out this is. So I'm going to actually zoom this out a little bit more. Just so I get those lights in there up here. And then hit a keyframe again to update it. And I went from I went from here to here to be smooth. So I'm going to go keyframe here. And I'm going to drag this one out to 90. And I'm going to drag this one into like 5. So we get this now. Okay. Now that was a little snappy. So I'm going to drag that back out to 10. And now we get this really nice, really, really nice animation. Okay, this wasn't as good as mine because I did this in literally 12 minutes. But this has been part one of the tutorial, guys. This has been keyframing the intro. Next part, we're going to be uh, rendering and uh, perhaps some After Effects uh, stuff. So this was part one, keyframing the intro. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, part two will be coming as soon as possible. So thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, and favorite if this was your favorite video. Please subscribe too so you can see part two and three. Um, hopefully they'll just be a part two though. So see you guys. Uh, see you in the next part.